Hi guys, this is Pino of DFT Games, welcome. Today I'm going to uh, present you our new release for Unreal Engine 4. It is a tool, uh, is a substance that we designed for internal use and we decided to uh, release for other developer to uh, use it and have fun with it and create beautiful games. So. Let's have a look uh, to how this works. So the first thing I did is to create uh, the standard uh, uh, folder hierarchy because uh, the substances have a full hierarchy uh, which is composed by the instances, the materials, the textures that need to be imported as we know uh, in a very specific way, as a specific type, and same here for the decals, I create usually a subfolder just uh, to keep stuff, you know, clean. Now, let's just now import our uh, substance, which is this one. So, to import it, you just uh, drop it in Unreal Engine 4. Then I specify a default folder for the instances, uh, which I like to have there, and I want to specify also a folder for the material, okay, which I like this way. I leave the name, uh, the names as, as they are at the moment, or uh, let's see, I can call this uh, to, to be, well, uh, let's see, let's call this Voot. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, let's start with Voot without uh, wasting uh, time. So, Voot, Voot material, a Voot instance, uh, let's, uh, and I guess we can go ahead and import everything. And here we go, we have now the Substance Factory that has been created here in the Substance folder where I dragged and dropped the substance itself. Let me save everything. Here I have the instance, which is this one, the wood instance, and I have the material that has been created related to the wood. Now, because uh, I defined this to be the wood, I guess that the first thing that I need to do is to import a wood texture. So let's start from import a texture. Now, uh, before to start importing one here, we have to select the type. Okay, this is very important, otherwise we cannot use the texture as an input for the substance. So we have to actually select the substance image input as a type, otherwise it will not work. So, let's get this one. Here we go. Now, let's open the instance of our substance so that we can see how this works. As you can see here, we have a set of sections. We have a, well the, the output size that we are going to set to 2048, which is very nice uh, and very detailed. Uh, decals 1 and 2, these we will see in a, while, in a little bit. Uh, let's uh, first off see what happens using uh, just uh, the uh, input texture, the base one. We have normal maps, uh, ambient occlusion, and roughness map, and metallic map that will be automatically generated. So now, as usual, we go in texture, we select the texture, and we are going to assign that to the, to the base texture. Okay, that's it, basically. At this point, the material has been fed, and let's have a look to it, right, will ya? Here we go. This is the material that uh, has been created for us. So we have a base color, obviously, we have a normal map that has been created. We have a roughness map, a metallic map, and an emissive map as well. Now, this is the uh, material as it show. it's showing here. Uh, the sphere is not really the best one. Let's have a look to 
Here we go. A cube, it's a better shape, I guess, to actually understand the full of it. Uh, first off, uh, as we can see here, there is a s some hint of metallic, and this because uh, we are using here a metallic map that has been uh, generated uh, from the texture itself. Here, uh, this is wood, so we're just going to uh, uncheck user image and we leave uh, this uh, metallic value to zero because this is uh, anyway this is wood so no metallic value and we fold the metallic section we know we're not going to use it uh, the roughness has been generated uh, from the image and actually i do like the way it looks what i feel is a little too much is the ambient occlusion which is uh, uh, a little bit too heavy maybe so uh, as i say roughness it's okay i like as it is at the moment as you can see we can also uh, move the values of the parameters here for low and high pass so we can uh, improve the look let's see you, you can see here that's the roughness uh, sorry I was talking about uh, the ambient occlusion and touching the roughness parameters <laughs> okay so let's uh, fold the roughness and let's uh, see if we can play a little bit with this uh, now that is a little bit better isn't it it's a little bit yeah okay like it a little bit more well it's i'm not sure either. maybe it's the thickness that needs to be maybe a zero in the middle oh yes yeah that's better yeah so we can push this back up and we see yes then now we have a nice surface with very nice detail that has been created for us okay yeah but now uh, that we have uh, lowered the thickness of the of the, ambient, of the ambient occlusion the roughness is a little bit too high so let uh, let us lower a little bit the high value maybe mm. or let's see maybe it's the other way around right yeah let's high let's push a little very little bit to the low pass here we go yes it's a little bit better for a piece of wood right very nice okay then so now we have it we have uh, our material it's uh, good enough uh, roughness okay ambient occlusion okay let's have a look to our normal map i guess for the normal i'm pretty much happy uh, obviously here we can choose OpenGL or not, but it's not exactly... Well, let's push a little bit the intensity of the normal map just to see how nice it is. With light and all the reflections. Yes, yes, yes. I actually like it. Well, I'm no artist, so the fact that I like it is no really guarantee that this is good, but uh, an artist, I guess, that will get a better result out of our substances. Anyway, uh, let's say that also the normal are uh, good enough, so let's save it. Okay, because now, now it's time to have a look to the decals, because uh, up until now we can create as you have clearly got uh, any kind of material uh, using just uh, one single uh, diffuse texture right 
Now, what about uh, improving this uh, by adding vehicles? Let's do that. Now, to add vehicles, what we have to do is uh, to import uh, new assets and this time round we need to import cargo files. This because uh, so substance tech substance image input dot tga okay this because uh, uh, this is the only format that we can import at the moment uh, uh, which supports transparency okay so let's get this one and let's uh, import straight away also the other one again we have to select the tga and here we go and we have our nice decals. So now that we have these, let's start with the first one. So we assign it as usual, like this. Let's go to the material. And here we go, we have the decal that has been applied. Obviously, it's been taken into account for computing everything, a normal map ambient inclusion and all. But let's say that we don't really need such a big uh, decal, but we need to play a little bit with it. Uh, let's start uh, with uh, scaling it. Let's start with a 5x5. Five five. Yeah, like it. Not too much. And let's move it around little bit more little bit more here yeah, I think that's it okay kind of happy with this right we have our decal that has been applied that we can even obviously we can push it on a corner that may be what we want to do right let's go on a corner Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go like this. Here we go. Now we have our nice decal that has been added, right? Uh, nice enough. Let's now add a, a second one. Then, so let's select this one, and we do. We apply it to the second texture. This one is number two, so it's applied on top of the other. And let this point give it some scaling to this one as well. Let's do this and leave it just like this in the very middle. Why not? Right. It's nice enough. How's that? How does that look? I'm pretty happy with it. Right? Yeah. But, what if I need one of these decals to be glowy, to glow in the night? Well, we can actually do that. Let's make glow our friend in yellow here. Okay? Let's put it. You know, the, let's put the cube in a very dark position, darky, like that. Okay. And now let's say that we want to make this emissive. Here you go. We've just light up our friend. Here. It's been lit up. That's nice enough, right? pretty handy. Obviously we can uh, tr have a little bit of control on our emission map from a little bit down to full white which overrides everything which is nice. Anyway, so here we go. This is uh, our uh, nice effect. Obviously we can 
light up both of them uh, we can make emissive also the other one but we don't want to push it right having one emissive I think it's okay so let's turn it off uh, here we go so next things to uh, show here and uh, it's pretty much also the last I think uh, feature of this material is uh, uh, the tiling obviously of the uh, decals because uh, here we go we can tile the decals to suit our need obviously we can tile the other one as well well let's try not to overdo <laughs> because that would be a little bit difficult let's do something like this that may be more uh, uh, yeah well makes more sense maybe I don't know honestly maybe artists uh, in this looking at this they are uh, just being horrified by my taste <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget I'm not an artist I'm just a technical guy who plays with substance designer creating substances for our own production so this substance is currently used in many of our games and here you go this is now available to the public so I hope that you guys will uh, make a very good use of this uh, and uh, let us know uh, because we are kind of proud of seeing uh, our assets being used around. Okay, thank you very much for following guys.